Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at our K1 folding electric bike from Dehan right here at eTrailer. Folding bikes is an interesting style of a bike. It's more compact, it's more portable, it's more lightweight compared to your regular traditional bikes. It has its different pros and cons, and in this video, we'll explore those to see if this is gonna be the right fit for you. But what we have here is an even more interesting bike in that sector. So this is gonna be the K1 electric folding bike. So it folds up to be more compact, but it also has a motor giving you an assist as you hit the trails. I don't know if you've noticed, but we're not at eTrailer.com right now. We actually brought our bikes out to an RV park. So we unfolded them, we hit the trails, we explored the area just to see what is it like living with a folding electric bicycle. So let's start that journey. So we just arrived at the RV park and we're ready to explore. So as you can see, once I open up my hatch, Ta-da, I have a folding bike inside. So let's take this out and set it all up. Everything is folded nice and compact. Pedals are folded in. So I'm just gonna unfold our bike real quick. Get this up. And that's secured. Make sure this is twisted around. Um, nice. That goes down here. Kickstand. Pedals. Seat post. That goes up just a little bit. And don't forget, one of the most important things is going to be helmet safety. So that's going to go up because I'm ready to hit the trails. Oh, turn on the power and let's go. So this is the first bicycle I tried out at the RV park and it really impressed me with the way it sped up as I turned on the speed assist. I could really feel the power behind the bicycle. Um, this was also definitely a comfortable ride as we went over the bridge or as we went over uneven pavement. I didn't really feel the terrain underneath me making for a good experience overall. So let's go over some of the specs that make this bicycle a little different from the others. So this has seven speeds compared to the Plus, which has eight speeds. This also has a hub motor. So what that means is that your motor that's powering your bicycle is over by your rear hub. Your battery is going to be integrated with your bicycle. So it's right over here. We have a plug over here that you can disconnect when in transport if you wanna make sure that that's not connected. And then you can charge it over here by the seat post. So this pops out to reveal your charging port and then you have that dust cap just to prevent dust and dirt from entering when not in charge. Hidden underneath your saddle, you're gonna find a button that's gonna help power your bicycle. This weighs 43 pounds, so a little heftier than your other folding electric bicycles, but you do have a weight capacity of 230 pounds. What's helping out with that capacity is this Deltec cable over here. This works as a support beam, but since it's still a cable, this means you can still fold it up. Here is your monitor to access your electrical assist. So press this button and hold that until it powers on. You'll be able to see how much charge you have, the speed you're going at, and you'll be able to go up and down in order to choose how much assist you want this bike to give you. This utilizes a seven speed shifter. So you're gonna have a trigger shifter. So just use your thumb to cycle through the speeds and press this button to go up a speed. A big question is how durable are the clamps and how much adjustment points do you have? Well, you have a telescoping handlebar, so this adjusts it up and down. This allows you to fold the handlebars down, so you have a really strong clamp right there. My favorite part, though, is the clamp for the frame. Notice how we have a tab just to make sure everything is engaged. And then this gives you a lot of pressure in order to tighten that down, put that tab in to make sure it's all secure. Very strong and durable. So those were the main highlights about this bicycle. If you wanna know more, like what type of brand of shifter do we have, our derailleur system, things like that, definitely check out our product page at eTrail.com for those detailed information. 
So there's differences between folding bikes and regular bikes. You have your pros, you have your cons for different types, but the main difference is definitely going to be the process of putting it away. So we have John here. He's my videographer, usually behind the camera, but this time he'll be putting a, an electric bike onto a bike rack that's on his forerunner while I fold up this bike and put it inside of my vehicle. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this a little fun. We're going to have a race just to see how different is the process and who can do it faster. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, three, two, one, start. So I'm going to start by bringing this seat post down and securing it. That's a really tight clamp. There we go. Then we're going to bring this down and then that's going to pop down by the front wheel. Then we're going to have this frame out. Oh, don't forget the pedals. Those fold up. And then this clamp, once disengaged, holds up the frame of the bike all the way. Let's get those pedals out of the way though. Here we go. All right, that's folded up and ready to store inside the vehicle. Okay, let's find some space. All right, there looks good. Done. And done. Okay, it took me a little bit longer than John did. Is yours locked? It is not. Not yet, and mine's all secure inside my car, so that's gonna be a big difference. Another big difference is, what if I didn't have a hitch? What if I didn't have the bike rack? I can still carry a folding bike while he needs all that set up first. Cool, that was fun. So how much space do you need to clear out in order to fit your folding electric bike? So whether you're storing this inside of your RV's basement, if it is big enough, or you're inside your boat, your car, inside the RV itself, let's take some measurements to see exactly how much clearance you need. So for width, it's gonna be about 17 inches max. For length, it's 37 inches long. And then for height, it's gonna be 30 inches tall. So hopefully that will help you figure out if you have space Another perk of this being more compact is instead of having to maneuver a larger bicycle, you can just bring this right up the stairs and through the door of your RV easier than a bicycle. So what's the difference between the K1 and the K1 Plus? You do have some difference when it comes to like the shifters, the speeds, the monitors, but for me, it boils down to how much power does each bicycle have. So with the K1 Plus, you get more speeds. It's an eight speed bike with a mid drive hub. So I definitely felt, felt that give me more force as I went down the trails. The K1 did have a lot of strength as well, but not as much as the K1 Plus. I still think this was a really strong and durable ride, very comfortable overall. If you need more force, you're going up hills, definitely go with the K1 Plus. If you're just looking for a casual electric folding bike, the K1 has everything you need. My personal thoughts about this bike is this is gonna be great for your flat terrain. Since you do have seven speeds and you have that rear hub motor, this is gonna give you that push through those pavements and through those trails at your campground. If you need a little extra force, maybe you're going over some more uneven terrain, bumps, hills, things like that, you may wanna check out the K1 Plus because you get a little bit more power with that not saying this is not powerful it really gives you that push forward so if you want to enter the folding electric bike field this is a great way to start and that was a look right here at our k1 folding electric bike here at e-trailer my name is evangeline and i hope you enjoyed the journey